For this uh, graveside service, we're going to uh, just read a few uh, portions of selected scripture, both from the, the Old and the New Testaments of the, of the Bible. The first scripture verse comes from Ephesians chapter 6, verses 1, 2, and 3, which says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and your mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, that it may go well with you and live long on the earth. And we've come to do that here today to honor the life of, of Sue Butler. The 23rd Psalm reads this way, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul and leads me in paths of righteousness for his namesake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you, God, are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. John records Jesus saying these words, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know, and you know the way. The Apostle Paul would write these words in the New Testament. But I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep or have died. Lest you sorrow as others who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again. Even so, God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will by no means precede those who fall asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. Paul elsewhere in the New Testament would write these words, For our citizenship is in heaven, from which we also eagerly wait for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ who will transform our lowly body, that it may be conformed to his glorious body, according to the working by which we are able, he is able, to subdue all things unto himself. This afternoon we have come to honor the life of Sue Butler. As family and friends, you've come to honor her, and you are blessed for it according to the scriptures, that it may go and be well with you on this earth. We read the 23rd Psalm. The Lord was and continues to be Sue's shepherd. While she wasn't perfect, because none of us are, by God's grace, she walked and is now walking in paths of righteousness. Now she is dwelling, living in the house of the Lord forever. Jesus, by his death and his resurrection, has prepared her place in heaven. He promised to come back in last week, in fact, a week ago today. He came just for her. And now the promise is that she will return with Christ when he comes and will resurrect from their graves all those who have died in Jesus. And those who are alive at that time will also be changed and gathered with those who have been resurrected. 
Now she is a citizen of heaven, enjoying her reward and enjoying Christ himself. The Bible says, For this slight momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory that's beyond all comparison. Because we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. For the things that we see are transient, or they change. But the things that are unseen are eternal. Will you pray with me? O merciful Father and God of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the resurrection and the life, and whom whosoever believes shall live though he die, and whoever lives and believes in him shall not die eternally. We ask you, O Father, to raise us from the death of sin unto the life of righteousness, that when we shall depart this life, we may rest in him, and at that general resurrection, on that last day, we may be found acceptable in your sight, and receive the blessing with which your well-loved Son shall pronounce to those who love and fear you, saying, Come, blessed of my Father, receive the kingdom which has been prepared for you. Grant this, O God, we ask. In Jesus' name, our Redeemer, we pray. Amen. Amen. And now for the committal. For as much as the spirit of this departed loved one has returned to God who gave it, we therefore tenderly commit her body to the ground in the sure trust and the certain hope in the power and love of Christ our Lord, at whose divine call that they that sleep in him shall one day stand with him and hear with all the saints these words, enter into your master's joy, for his is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Father, may we go in peace, we may go in your power and go in your grace. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.